Ready when you are. Ready. Guys, ready? are you all ready? Let's give Renee our attention here. All right. In 1995, Pastor Li Dexian was leading an illegal home group in China. Although he had been warned by the PSB, the Public Security Bureau, um, that they would raid his meetings, he still preached fearlessly. The PSB came in, dragged him outside of the house, and beat him in front of his congregation. They then took them. They then took him to a, the security headquarters, where they threw him into an isolation cell. They beat him for seven hours, kicking him in the stomach until he vomited blood. They smashed his head against his knees. After the seven hours, he was released, only to start preaching the gospel. Only a few weeks later, he traveled again. In 1998, he was leading another meeting. The PSB came in and they took all of the Christian literature, including Bibles. They warned him, stop preaching. Four days later, they caught him preaching again. They said to him, we told you to stop doing this. Don't you know what could happen? He stepped up to the microphone and spoke so that everyone would hear his voice. I am not afraid to die for the gospel. I will preach until I die. In Luke 15:4, Jesus poses a question to the Pharisees and teachers of the law. He asks them, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not go after the one which is lost until he finds it? When I heard this story in the first and second Sunday school class, the first and second grade Sunday school class, I immediately pictured myself as one of the 99 sheep, the ones who stayed in church, faithful to the shepherd. But Jesus doesn't call us just to stay in the sheep pen. He calls us to be shepherds and to go seek out those who have wandered from the truth until we find them. He calls us to go seek out those who have never once heard the truth. To this day, it breaks my heart to hear of entire people groups who have never once heard the gospel. People groups who have never heard the name Jesus. I mean, how can this be fair? In America, we have Christian TV, Christian radio stations, Christian books, Christian stores, churches are common, and most people can say they know at least one Christian. But if we go over to Somalia, for example, how many times has the gospel been preached to those people? A people so overcome with hatred for the world, other clans, even their own brothers. I think of China, where millions of children remain unreached with the good news that a God so desperately loves them, he gave up everything just to rescue them. In Paraguay alone, three million children remain to be reached. Now let me ask you, what in your life is more important than bringing the gospel to other people? What are you pursuing that is holding you back from the call Jesus has given us to go and relentlessly seek out the lost? Are you pursuing a career, a boy or a girl, more passionately than you are pursuing Jesus and his purpose for your life? Take a breath. As long as you have breath, you have opportunity to share the gospel with the lost. God is not a selfish God. He gave up everything, his own dignity, for a chance that we would choose him. Oh, you give up everything, your own dignity, for a chance that someone else might choose him. Pastor Lee is still preaching. He has been in prison more than 10 times. He is beaten repeatedly, but he still lives by his declaration, I will preach until I die. This is a call to lay down your life. This is a call to give everything you have for, to Jesus, even if it costs you your very life. There are millions and millions of people in this world who have yet to hear the name Jesus. Let's change that. I'm not afraid to die for the gospel. I'm more afraid of deeming my life of more value than the gospel. I want to leave this world only because I'm relentlessly seeking out the lost.